This is the chapter view for chapter six, number 20. So again, we're asked to use the theorem f of g of x equals g of x, f of x equals x, if and only if f and g are inverses, to prove these two things are inverses. So we'll start with f of g of x. So what that means is that every place in f of x, I'm going to replace the x's with g of x. So I'm going to have negative 5 plus square root 4x plus 9 all over 2 squared plus 5 times negative 5 plus the square root 4x plus 9 over 2 plus 4. And now I'm just going to kind of have to simplify things. So over here we have to FOIL. So if I do that, I'm FOILing the same way I would have in number, number 17. So I'm going to omit writing out that work. If you need to remember how to FOIL something where you have a square root and a number like that, you can go back and refer to number 17 where I do that. I'm just going to do this one in my head. And then I have to distribute the 5 through. Okay. And then I'm going to make a common denominator. So my denominators are 4, 2, and 1. So my least common denominator would be 4. So I'm going to multiply this one by 2 over 2, and this one by 4 over 4. So when I distribute that 2 through, I'm going to have a minus 50. I have a minus, oh, I'm sorry, plus square root, 10 square root 4x plus 9, and then plus 16. So now I'm going to um, combine some like terms. Oh, and this is all over 4. Sorry. I have a common denominator 4 now. Okay. So I have a negative 10 square root 4x plus 9 and a positive 10 square root 4x plus 9. So those are going to add to give me 0. I have a 9 or a 25, a 9. And a 16, um, those are going to add to give me 50, and then I have a negative 50, so those all cancel out. So I'm left with then just 4x over 4, and that's just x. And that's one half. I also need to do g of f of x. So again, same idea here, but this time I'm going to be taking my f of x and plugging it into the x's in g of x. So I have negative 5 plus square root 4 times x squared plus 5x plus 4 plus 9 all over 2. So I'm going to start by just distributing that 4 through my parenthesis. That's going to give me 4x squared plus 20x plus 16 and still have that plus 9 at the end over 2. And if I add 
the 9 and the 16 together. 4x squared plus 20x plus 25 all over 2. I would factor this piece. So this is one where you'd have to do the long factoring. So you need to find the two numbers that multiply to give you 4 times 25 and then add to give you 20. That's going to be 10 and 10. I'm going to skip doing the long factoring from there and let you guys handle that on your own. Um, but what you're going to end up with is 2x plus 5 times 2x plus 5. That I'm going to write as 2x plus 5 squared. So the square root is going to cancel the squared. And we're left with... Um, That's a negative 5, I was going to say. Okay, negative 5 plus 2x plus 5 over 2. If I combine my like terms, the negative 5 and the positive 5 give us 0. So I'm left with just 2x over 2. And if we reduce, that just becomes x, which is what we wanted. And there we go.